I took my first Facebook ads course after about five years of running Facebook ads. It's not the only thing I've been doing, but I've used Facebook ads throughout the whole thing to sell product or grow social media, whatever it is. And just now I'm finally taking a course, <laughs> taking a course. Like I said, it was just someone sent it to me. It was a ripoff and I thought I'd see what's up. So my thoughts, I've got a few different bullet points here. There's one main thing I learned, which I'm going to dangle to the end. So you got to stick around for that. But I can safely say that through two things, I pretty much knew everything that was there. Now, there's some things I didn't know or didn't think of quite in that way or had a different term in my mind for it or whatever, but that was really more of just like, I mean, Facebook can vary and there's so many variables that people are always gonna do things a little bit differently and have found you know a little bit success a little bit a little success from a little bit different things and anyway so but for the most part I felt like I pretty much knew it all from these two things one just studying what's out there for free there is some trash out there but all the good info you would think you'd need and you do would need to successfully start running Facebook ads is out there. 100% for free times a thousand like that's there's that much of the free stuff that's the good stuff that you need out there to get started and succeed with Facebook ads that like you can really know pretty much everything just from that and uh, that you need to get started and that's the second thing is you need to get started and just start testing 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 because that's what Facebook ads all about anybody who doesn't tell you at least to some extent that Facebook ads is pretty much all about testing. Um, there is no, I know exactly what the price is going to be. I know exactly how much is this going to cost. I know exactly how many sales we're going to get. I know you can have very strong ideas beforehand, but, and you might even be right about a lot of them, but you still have to test, 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 test when it comes to Facebook ads. So just all the free info that's out there is plenty coupled with getting in there and just running the test and getting to know how things work and seeing if you can get results that's more than plenty to for you to succeed with facebook ads there's nothing more nothing less that you need like that's absolutely it and no course is really going to no course is giving you an extra hack or the magic potion that's not already out there for free. Now there were a few different things or differences that I'll point out really quickly. One is um, acronyms, like proper terms for things. I personally am not the best at adhering to that or going out of my way to necessarily try and learn those. Now you absolutely have to at times. Like if I really don't, if I don't understand the thing, yes, I've got to learn it. But um, I'm kind of talking more about like industry terminology and industry abbreviations and stuff. Like, again, I don't take courses. <coughs> Sorry, my throat's itchy. I don't take courses. <clears throat> I don't go to seminars. I don't attend webinars. Like, I mean, unless I'm out there just searching for free info, but I'm not going to like industry stuff to learn industry stuff. And so that's what I've kind of learned is, you know, uh, I just kind of have seen that that's just something that's, you know, a lot of people get way too hung up on that. A lot of people just learn it because it's normal to learn it. And then there's definitely some people like me where, you know, you, you learn what you like, not even, I'm not even talking like a bare minimum thing. I'm just talking like, uh, it's just not the most important thing to know the proper term. It's just important to know how to actually do it and get the results is what I'm trying to say. And man, that's one of the things that frustrated me the most in college in the ad program was that. I was assigned a textbook from 2002, which is over a decade old at that time. And, you know, already for like several years, Facebook ads has been like really the main way to do effective advertising, especially if you're starting out as a small business or whatever. And the book that's over a decade old that I had to pay for and take tests and assignments on was vocab. It was like literally lists and lists of the proper industry terminologies and their definitions. And it's like, doesn't matter, man. Like, I don't I don't need to have all those memorized. I don't need to know all, all that they mean. I don't even necessarily need to be able to communicate on those terms with other, like, I just need to know how to do it and make it work and get the results. And that's it. So that's one thing I've noticed. I noticed in the courses, and it wasn't the first time I noticed it, but just 
Um, I, it's kind of a me thing, and also I'm just kind of sharing that, you know, don't get too hung up on that stuff. Yeah, make sure you know what you're reading and doing and under, you understand things, but ultimately what matters is you know how to do it, not all the proper terminology around it or whatever. Um, there, there is one thing, and, and this is another one that kind of plays on that same thing. One thing I noticed in this course was uh, he went a couple extra steps further to really build out in the data in like your columns um, the funnel flow all the way from like the impression to the whatever you know a result you're trying to accomplish and every little thing in between um, which I've and I say this in my videos there is absolutely time and place for every single data point and so I kind of noticed two things here one is that like I don't at least I haven't I think it was kind of like I probably will add a little bit more but number two is that um, I was already doing this naturally without any course without any teaching without any proper industry whatever but in the course he's building out his uh, columns his data tables like every little data point every little piece and uh, I don't go necessarily all the way down into every little one of those details because I think, again, it's more important to pay attention to like how much am I spending and then how much did I just make? Like ultimately, that's really what matters. Uh, yeah, your CPM matters, number of impressions and all that stuff, absolutely. But again, time and place and don't get too hung up on data points that are not really gonna be the ones that ultimately make you money. Like pay attention to the what's actually, you know, your, your spend and your profit. Um, but within that, I noticed that like, Oh no, that's basically what I've done just naturally is, yeah, exactly that. I just didn't, it's not as detailed as this guy laid it out, but it's exactly what I do. I just over and over time, over practice and experience and just learning and being logical about running Facebook ads. It's like, oh, I've, I built the same, uh, pretty much built just the same funnel process in my data tables. Like, okay, here's the impression and then you know, if that intrigued them, then like, then you get the link click. If the link click, um, if then they get to the landing page, right? And if the landing page sells them, moves them forward, then you get the add to cart. And, and just, you know, if your price point's good, then you'll get the initiate checkout. And as long as shipping's not bad, then, you know, like I'd already done most of it. Like I'm saying, he just went to a little more detail. And the last thing before I get to the final big difference is, uh, Every, and, and I, I guess I just said it, but everyone has a little bit different way of structuring things. And look, some of them are definitely better than others, but also there is no one, this is the best and most proper way to structure Facebook advertising. And in this course specifically, I did. I liked how he set stuff up. It's pretty similar to how I do and set stuff up. Uh, probably worth for me to test some of the stuff he mentioned, but it's like, there's so many things. There's always something more you can test always another strategy always another variable that it's not about studying every guru and everything they say and until you find the one proper oh this is the there is no one it's just trial read optimize improve over and over and over and yeah if you can pull golden nuggets from people if you can test their stuff and that works great perfect but do you need a course or courses no, like the info's out there for free. You just need to add testing on top of that and start to figure it out on your own. The very last thing where I think courses can be beneficial, I guess is really why I'm saving this one for last, what I'm trying to say with it, uh, uh, courses and seminars. I, so by the way, I, I have gone to one seminar. I went to film a buddy for content for his YouTube channel. It was an Amazon seminar and I was, I'm also an Amazon seller, so like, it was cool for that, but there was also a, a Facebook ads, um, like an out Facebook ads hour during like the two day thing, whatever it was. And this was the first time, not, not like the first time, but this is the first time where it went to this extent. And I was just like, dude, you're doing like rocket science stuff. What are you talking about? Um, again, there is a time and place for every single data point. And this guy was coming in like where they're talking about spending hundreds of thousands of dollars a day on Facebook ads type of stuff. And yeah, when you're spending those kinds of money, that amount of money, you're obviously going to be spending a lot more time on a lot of the finer details of strategies and how you're setting stuff up because little differences can make big swings of money, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions, you know, so, um, but courses and webinars or seminars, I think 
you know, industry stuff, whatever, for the beginner, like getting started, no, like not worth it at all. But I think once you're going from, honestly, maybe from like, I don't know, from like a, like, wow, this is really amazing, this is working really well too, I wanna spend hundreds of thousands a day or something like that, then maybe that's the time to find someone who offers a like intermediate to expert level course or seminar because when it comes to Facebook ads, at that point, there's a whole mathematical, <laughs> so like just engine and structure and testing that you can put behind all the testing. That is just like, it's, a, it's math like I don't go to, <laughs> frankly. Uh, maybe I will at some point, but it's, you can just get really, really, you can get into some really complicated and in-depth math behind Facebook ads, but you've really got to read some really large numbers to make that happen, so courses now that i've taken one final thoughts for beginners absolutely not free info and test and then once you've figured out uh, how to make a bunch a bunch of money doing that if you want to if you feel like you need to then at that point then spend some money on some higher level seminars webinars courses and learn that extra complicated in-depth mathematical behind the scenes testing of the testing for facebook ads